Hi everyone, I wanted to make a video about how I uh, take a computer case fan like this one right here, or this one, and modify it uh, to run directly off a, um, a wall warrior like this right here. This is from a uh, Linksys router. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have the right wall warrior for your fan. And the way you do that is you look on the fan and there should be some information about um, the voltage and amperage. And if you look at this one, you can see uh, this one requires at least 0.16 amps, which most of these wall warriors won't have a problem with. And then, but you want to match this exactly. This is 12 volts DC. Uh, so they're all, all these are going to output 12 volt, or all these are going to output DC, but you want to find the ones that output 12 volts. So if we look at this guy, we see uh, right here, even in the model number, they have 12 volts, one amp. And if you look down here in the fine print, you can see uh, 12 volts, you can focus that up a little bit. Nope. There we go. 12 volts, 1 amp max in the uh, output line. So this one will work great. And then what we do is we simply cut off the end. We cut, take this wire that comes out of here, cut off the end of it. And uh, for this guy, we put it into a... Um, this is basically a speed control or voltage control. Uh, or potentiometer, which is what some people call it. Actually, this one works off of uh, PWM. But <clears throat> essentially what it does is it allows us to regulate, take the power in, and then regulate the amount that we send out. So uh, what we're going to do is attach this guy here, and attach this guy here. So it comes in this way, and then out through the fan. Um, but the way this works is, uh, you can see I have one wire attached here already. Uh, this one, right on the back here, you see power plus and power minus. So this is the power input. Uh, and this one, the one with the white stripe is the one that's positive, And the one without any white on it, that's the negative. So this negative guy goes in the top here. And this um, white one goes into the, uh, into the positive side. Um, and then same thing. So for the motor, the motor is a little different. It actually has three wires. Uh, you can see here there's a yellow one, which is a sensor. Uh, we're going to ignore that one for our usage. And then it has a, a red and a black. Um, the red one is always positive. That's, pretty, that's standard throughout all electronics. Red is positive, black is negative. So we put the red one into the motor plus and the black one into the motor minus. And this, the way this connects is uh, there's just little screw holes here. You screw it down, you loosen it up, stick it in there screw it down, and it tightens it. Um, so that's how that works. And one of the things, that, one of the other things I wanted to go over too, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach these and, and give a demo, but before I do that, one of the things I wanted to talk about too was uh, this case fan here and why I chose it for this application. So for the incubator, uh, this case fan works out really well because uh, it actually sits like this, the airflow goes that way. So <clears throat> uh, the way I'm gonna mount this is on the roof of the incubator so it's going to sit like this uh, what's nice is it'll actually suck in air from the sides and blow it down so it'll start that uh, that circulation right whereas with a case fan like this one uh, it'll take in the air uh, if you mount it flush to the top it won't be able to take in the air from the sides at all because the sides are um, solid walled so you have to actually put some spacers in there or something like that to to mount it lower and that's just kind of a pain um, so <clears throat> I'm going to uh, go ahead and make these attachments and then show you what it looks like uh, when it's attached and give you a quick demo. Uh, but I'm going to do that off camera so you don't have to sit there and watch me screw around with it. Okay, welcome back. Uh, so I went ahead and uh, connected this uh, up as I had showed you I would do. Uh, and you can see I'm actually putting it in the plastic here so I don't touch any electrical components while it's plugged in. And right now I have this going out to the wall plugged in. Uh, so you can see here's our fan, right? So I can line this up here. Um, and I turn this little knob here. Actually I have a little light that goes on. I turn it far enough and it turns on and I turn it down. It pretty much stops. You can kind of just get it going a little bit. You can really increase it. It might be tough to see. You might be able to hear it though. And then uh, turn it down. 
So that's it. I mean, that's how you do it. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll uh, take a break here and I'm going to mount it in the incubator and kind of show you uh, how I did that and what it looks like mounted. Okay, and we're back. Uh, I went ahead and mounted the fan inside the incubator there. This is the top of the incubator. Okay, and the wire comes out uh, right here. Okay, and I actually found a little matchbox and just put that uh, voltage control switch in there. And if you turn this guy on, so I hear the fan running a little bit in there. Put that guy down. And there you go. 